Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again. And this time we're going to look at a game called Blood Warrior, and this was created by Atop and Kaneko in 1994. And this is a versus beat em up game. Uh, you can choose between one of nine different fighters, and uh, it is kind of a pre rendered graphics, or a, what is it called? A digitized graphics based on. Uh, human actors uh, but uh, it is a weird game and it is a sequel to uh, what is it called Shogun Warriors uh, from like 1992 created by the same companies and uh, this version has more of a uh, like feudal Japan type of setting and we're seeing uh the ninja Arashi facing the samurai Goemon. There is uh, the ninja Arashi, the Buddhist monk Ikkyu, the Kunoichi or female ninja Kasumi, the samurai Kinshiro, the turtle like demon Sanpei, the samurai Sugethu, or something like that, the Kabuki Shishimaru the Ninja Benkei and the Samurai Goemon. And there are like three or four different moves for each character. <laughs> the, the Kunoichi has uh, very English words gross out. Kind of valley girl speak. But um, there is gore in this game. Like uh, Mortal Kombat, you can do a fatality type of move. And uh, you don't have to do an intricate type of move for just a fatality. You can do any of your special moves. Hell, you could even just press kick or punch or something, and you'll do a special move automatically. And that move will kill the opponent in a gory fashion. And there are just, I think, three types of different finishing moves. And each player has those same ones. Or you'll see the same results from them. But uh, there is a bar beneath your regular life bar. And the more damage you take, the higher that life bar or that bar will fill. And once it's totally full, your special moves will be much stronger. And they'll get stronger as it fills. And uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Nobody uh, suggested this for me. I just decided to go ahead and do this. I've seen it. I hadn't seen it in arcades, but I saw it while playing in MAME once. And I was like, oh, this is a pretty weird game. And I will choose the Ninja Arashi. His moves are if you press back and forward and punch, you can throw a. Uh, shuriken, a giant shuriken. If you press down, down, back, and back, and punch, then, uh, I think you do this energy chi-like field around you real quick. And if you press down, down, forward, and forward, and punch, then, uh, you shoot this fire along the ground. I guess, and I don't think I could get this to work, if you press a kick button repeatedly, uh, some other move is supposed to happen. I didn't get that to happen for some reason. The controls are your basic eight-way joystick, and then you have a strong kick, strong or a weak kick, strong kick, weak punch, strong punch. When you get dizzied, when you take enough damage quickly, uh, you're dizzy, but you're spurting blood everywhere. It's weird. <laughs> Well, that was uh, San Pei, the uh, turtle-like demon, and, and there I just threw a star, and it cuts, it cuts him in half, and he just still stands spurting blood everywhere. <laughs> this game's kind of stupid. It's not, it's not a particularly great uh, versus fighting game. But uh, we will now face uh, the uh, samurai Kinshiro. But yeah, each character has like uh, three or four different special moves. And when uh, 
when you've beaten the uh, opponent, you don't have to empty their life bar. The timer can just run out and they'll they'll just dizzy and you'll do your uh, finishing move. That that finishing move can be any of your special moves or it could just be I think a punch or a kick button and you'll do one of your special moves when you press the punch or kick button. Oh crap, I'm in trouble here. Or can I prevail? <laughs> oh man, <laughs> lucky. And I'll, uh, or no, I'll uh, do a special move, or a uh, finishing move after the next round. And there was my uh, Chi fire field, or whatever you want to call it. But uh, if you want to throw the opponent, you have to be close to them and press forward and both kick buttons. Kind of weird. I didn't really do that during this gameplay. This game can be kind of hard. Uh, you want to uh, you want to learn when's a good time to attack, when's not a good time to attack. You don't seem to have great uh, uh, air counter moves in this game. Or at least not that I've noticed. Sometimes my counter moves work and sometimes they don't. And now I gotta do my special finishing move. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's only three different special finishing moves that you can do. And they're going to be the same for each player. Or they're going to look the same. You know, in the way that you uh, kill the opponent. And now I'm going to play against myself. <laughs> yeah, I like to throw a lot of stars. <laughs> yeah, there's the Dizzy, and he... he uh, came out of it really quick. The dizzy is just you standing still and just bleeding everywhere, which is really stupid. Boy, I kicked his ass, didn't I? Yeah, I never saw this in arcades. It's it's not a very good uh, beat him up. Certainly not the worst. <laughs> but just not very good. And, and again, this is kind of a sequel to uh, uh, Shogun Warriors. That one I did see. I actually kind of like that one better than this. Yeah, it, uh, with the ninja Arashi, you can press down forward and kick, and you'll do a slide kick. Now I get to do the uh, finishing move, and I'll just throw another star at him. <laughs> and he tells you what his occupation is. <laughs> now we'll face the uh, Kabuki warrior, uh, Shishimaru. And as, as is typical with a Kabuki fighter in a versus fighting game, he uses his hair as a weapon. Even even being hit with hair, I spurt blood everywhere. <laughs> kind of stupid in there. I got dizzy. But yeah, I didn't I didn't throw in this game, but I will show you what it looks like, or at least when you use uh, a rashi. We'll look at that after I complete my game. And once I I I, uh, I lose. I think I lost to the next guy I faced. Um, then uh, I will just show you uh, clips of the fights with the other warriors. Yeah, th some of the characters are based on uh, the characters from the previous game, Samurai Warriors, or uh, Shogun Warriors. And uh, I think this guy... The, this guy's electrical net 
is like a uh, whoa that was close is like the boss from uh, Shogun Warriors. <laughs> it cuts him in half. Ninja. Yeah, Samurai Warriors was or uh, Shogun Warriors the first game was not uh was not uh, uh based on actors type of graphics or digitized graphics like this and now we face uh, EQ the uh, Buddhist monk he he kind of strikes me as creepy just the voices that he does just kind of creepy to me for some reason I don't know what he says, but it's it's creepy to me. But yeah, you'll you'll see your character kind of glow a little bit as your uh, as the meter below. Ah, damn it! As the meter below your life meter fills up, your special attacks will get stronger, and it'll fill up as you take damage. And, of course, the same thing can happen for the computer, or if a second player is playing. I don't know what he says with his moves, but it kind of strikes me as creepy. Yeah, I... Definitely haven't seen this in arcades. It's just not not that good a beat em up fighting game. And there was his throw move. It's kind of a creepy guy, I think. Well, uh, yeah, I'll let my time run out here. This <laughs> friggin' skeleton jumping up and down, weird. Oh, <laughs> but yeah, I'll show you uh, the rest of the characters, or me me beating the rest of the characters, or facing them for a little bit at least. And here's me beating EQ. I put on invincibility or infinite energy, <laughs> just so I could go through all the characters real quick. Now we'll face the Kunoichi uh, Kasumi. She has kind of some valley girl lingo. Gross it out. I just wanted to show you what it looks looks like to see her moves. seems like at this point, sometimes when you attack the enemy uh, while they're doing a special move, it should hit them and it doesn't. Yeah, she's got some throw moves. Ah, you bitch. Just die, okay? There. Yeah, the special moves are probably gonna get through them even if they block it, they'll still get hurt. You know, when you when you have your uh, power meter filled way up. And now we're gonna look at me facing uh what's this guy's name? Uh Shu Shugetsu. It sa it says it's Sugethu. And it don't know that that's right. There's not supposed to be a Thu in uh, Japanese uh, writing. I 
think it says Thu. Should probably say Sugets. Sugetsu. And yeah, again, if you run out of time, you still get to do a, a finishing move. Slice him in half with that move. But there's no boss fight. There's no boss characters after you beat all the other fighters. That's really stupid. And the ending's really lame. Not a, not a particularly good uh, versus fighting game. This guy is a real pain in the ass. He has nice long attacks. He has short attacks. Fast attacks. Just a pain in the butt. It's like a ball and chain. He has a bomb. We'll just finish him off. His, his head is left in the pile of blood and entrails. <laughs> that was Benkei, the ninja. Now this will be Goemon. And I'll have beaten all the other fighters after I beat him, so the game will just end. Yeah, that's that's really dumb that there's no boss fight. Yeah, this guy's a pain. He also has like a, a cannon with him. And he's got a little charge attack. Yep, he can go right through your uh, special attack. And he's got a pile driver. Hills fire, and there's this uh, cannon attack. Just die, please. There we go. Now let's use a uh, finishing move. <laughs> in case you forgot what my occupation is. I'm a ninja. <laughs> and now we see the uh, really dull, lame ending to uh, uh, Blood Warrior by Atop and Kaneko, or maybe it's Atop and Kaneko in 1994, who both also did the original game uh, uh, Shogun Warriors in 1992 I believe. I have a video on that as well. But uh, that game is better than this one I think. Well, That was Blood Warrior by uh, Atop or Atop and Kaneko in 1994. The sequel to Shogun Warriors. Ah. Ka creepy. <laughs> creepy guy. Uh, EQ the Buddhist monk. <laughs> yeah, the turtle, turtle-like demon uh, Sanpei is kind of like uh, Dalsim from uh, Street Fighter games. He can extend his limbs. Creepy Buddhist monk wins. <laughs> well, that was uh, Blood Warrior, and it, yeah, we're gonna real quick look at me uh, do a throw move. And like I said, you have to push towards the enemy, and both kick buttons: weak kick and strong kick. And then you gotta throw them. There we go. Or do some close attack like that. Well, that was Blood Warrior by Atop or Atop and Kaneko in 1994, the sequel to Shogun Warriors. Well, this is Crazy Clan Radio. Thanks for watching Blood Warrior. I will catch you later in the future with another video. Y'all have a, a good weekend coming up, everybody, and I'll see you later. Bye bye.